Hi, my name is Vanele Koza. I'm 23 years old this year and I'm based in Pretoria, Queenswood, and that's where my studio is at. So I studied at TUT for four years with my BTEC and I'm an artist. <laughs> So I was selected for the Johann Stegman mentorship in 2016 and that was after a year I tried before and it was exciting to actually receive the news that I'd made it because I really wanted to do it for a long time and so I also got paired with Colbert Machile, someone that I really look up to, like he's literally my icon. My solo exhibition at Lisa Moore and Associates is titled Lonely Nights. Lonely nights, I mean, everyone's experience of loneliness is different and I think this is an element of what goes on in my space and within me and I mean, it's, it's a very depressing space to be in and also a space that people never really speak about, about being lonely. I mean, I literally have only had four people and it was through a conversation in, in a previous exhibition I'd done where they actually spoke about being lonely but it's something that people really speak about and for me it was a space that I had to tap into not only because of as an exciting thing but because something that I've gone through for so long and to have that open discussion about it to people they realize that they're actually not alone and that's what happens with loneliness is that you experience it and you think you own your own even though there are people around you but to have someone confide with you and tell you hey i'm also lonely i think that's why i had to bring the body of work through and i hope people get the sense of that Um, so I think what's interesting about digital media is that it comes with so much convenience that we think it's great for us, but it actually creates a huge sense of void that we're constantly looking at what other people are doing. Always, it's always on your face. It interferes into your space that you grow into the sense of envy and people don't realize that they're envious and maybe won't even confess that they're envious of someone else. And for me, I also don't confess it, but I've confessed it in an article where I say, I actually envy you too, because we all see the great aspects of other people's lives. So if someone is having a great relationship, that's what they will post. And on my side, it would be zero. And I would feel so sad and you end up, and people will speak about that constantly and you'll eventually just not be happy for the next person. The body of work actually, when I work, it's play. Uh, I don't take my work very, I'm very serious about it, but also it's very playful in approaching it because if, I realized that with life we try to control like our lives and it doesn't work out so I think even the approach of the work is that I really just let go and whatever comes out it's, it's what it is so I mean there's so many things that I didn't personally paint but it's what it's the collaboration between me and the medium and the surface so that's what happens I think what I'm really proud of with this exhibition is that it's truly me and it's a reflection of what I've gone through in the past seven months and from that seven months the past five years or so and to have a space where people actually celebrate the tiny efforts that I make and I mean it's, I can't say it's not the best looking at, but it's honest art it's really honest and for people to get that sense of honesty just proud of that.